All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to the first playthrough of 2022, and we're already like quarter of the way through the year. It's been that long. But yeah, we're going to jump into the House of Da Vinci 2. Earlier uh, last year, we played the first one, really enjoyed it. And I am promised that the second one will bring a lot more um, head scratching and um, a lot more kind of puzzles and is overall a better game. Um, lurking somewhere in the background, we've got uh, Death Wish 808. So if you hear um, some yalls every now and again, uh, it's just Death Wish piping up. So yeah, just ignore him. He'll, he goes away after a while. Yeah. <laughs> because if he starts rambling, there ain't no stopping him. But without further ado. <laughs> uh, you do have that special Death Wish 808 mute button. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's enjoy. And like you said yesterday, no backseating. Yeah, no backseating. You can have your ideas and all that, but don't type them out. Unless you specifically ask. Everybody is normally pretty well behaved in the stream, to be fair, so... Yeah. To worry about that too much. Yeah, but, you know, so, just saying, you know. Uh, Alrighty then. We are imprisoned. It's a good start. That, that kind of that kind of reminds me of Outer Wilds a little bit. Well, the um, like they're right from the beginning, looking at your hands. Yeah. It, but uh, but like you're at the fire. The only thing that sucks is I can't listen to the game. We found a leather case. Boy, so. how did you ever find that? <laughs> Mysterious leather. And a key, by the looks of it. Uh, read the following carefully, because this letter is your path to freedom. Only on the other side of these walls can your name be cleared. We arranged that the guard won't be watching the area surrounding your cell for the time being. You should know that you won't get this chance again. Do not worry, we are on your side. You will find your way out at the end of this letter. I.e. Take the key. They went into like some proper like detail with this game as well. This this uh, the first one as well, like the actions and things. Some of them are like really lazy, but no, this one is um they like their actions. Key doubles as a spanner as well, which is interesting. So one thing, because it's like a while since I played, um, how did the... I can't quite remember how the like first one ended. Are we playing as the same like person in this one, or are we playing as a different person? Or is that spoilers? Okay, I just uh, unmuted myself. Uh, honestly, I do not remember, so... Okay. I can't, I can't give you any spoilers. I don't remember if... I, th I think it's a continuation, kind of, but... Yeah, I, I don't remember. Uh, you'll, you'll probably remember better than I do as you play. So, oh, I, I and, doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, back to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. This looks a little bit um, something of interest there, but uh, nothing moments. Okay, so we can probably attach this somewhere. Seems to be like a lot more um, camera angles and like movement options in this one, which is um, really quite nice. To move that around, I don't think we can do anything with this moment. Okay, we'll uh, investigate this again in a moment. Nothing over there, and I've clicked out the game. Is there a, a mouse lock for this? Um, there 
is not. Okay. What have we got here? Curiously shaped screw. There is a mouse lock uh, third party app. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't look. recall what it's called or anything, but I think you can find it if you could Google it. Just saying. I'll uh, I'll take a look for it tomorrow when uh, I'll I'll soldier on today. All right. So is it a screw or is it actually like a screwdriver? Is the latter? Interesting. Right, so we can't reuse that. Looks like this opens up. Part of a torture device. Which my plus symbol has a second part you need to finish. It's gonna be the screw, of course. Up the torture device. Let me just shove that. Well, I know where you'd probably shove it, but uh, let's not go there. <laughs> Anywho. Up grass and to the left. And we're going to attach that to there. And we can rewind this. Oh no, something broke on the hinge on the lever. Right, so... I have to hazard a guess that we're going to use this spoon on our cell floor be able to uh, wind this across and now we can hopefully wind this device there we go and into the sewers we go Alrighty. Classic pause while the gate drops down. This is obviously the, uh, Obviously, the torture chamber because uh, some very questionable artifacts over here. Alright, so we can only walk to places where we get the magnifying glass. It's good to note. So I'm guessing. Yep, we can do something here. Hey, Knock. Hey, Deathwish. Ain't your favorite little rascal. <laughs> what, Dizzy? Alf Alfalfa? Or Spanky? Is this, is this what we're going to have all the way through? We're just going to have... We, we don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. <laughs> It's going to pop up randomly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what we've got here? We've got some puzzle. Uh, looks like we're going to attach something onto there and bring the latch down. Uh, looks like here, we need to rotate these round. And that's probably the piece we need. Look at that. I guess we'll... Okay, I thought I might block them, but it's just going to complete that. And we've got our second letter. You might find the events awaiting you strange and unfathomable. Accept them as they, they are. You will understand everything later when we meet. You must trust me. 
It is time to turn the wheel of time and change not only your own destiny. In the box in front of you is a device that will allow you to peer into the past and through your through your feet there will be there you will influence the present. Sorry. Use it with deliberation. You do not know me yet, but I have known you for a long time. I am here and I will help you. Our friend. I know obviously you strive for perfection, Mika, but and, and please don't take this the wrong way because I don't mean this like um I, I don't mean like mean this in like a malicious way at all, but seriously man, you've got nothing to worry about with your English. You uh, really have nothing to worry about. And um I know you strive for your perfection, but really don't be so hard on yourself. I don't know why I said about being malicious and don't take it the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, anyway, let's pick up the device from the chest. With my dirty hands that look like they are made of stone for some reason. They've got moss all over them. Click the icon to activate the Oculus Perpetua. Through the Oxford Perpetua, you can see a portal that will take you into the past to get closer. <laughs> left click anywhere on the screen to continue. Hold down the left mouse button in the middle of the portal until it draws you into the past. Also, it's going to take me, it's like the same place, but just in the past a little bit. Looks like time has frozen still as well, so interesting. Very interesting. You see the time isn't flowing in the past and that bridge under the gargoyle isn't broken. I could use this somehow. Alright, so I wonder if this is like I don't wonder. I guess this is kind of like um This, this is where it got interesting for me, I must say. Okay, so we can influence the path. It's almost like the, um, what was the portal mod with the, the time stuff? Um, the recent one. But it's kind of like we can affect stuff in the past to change what's happening in the future, which is very interesting indeed. Yeah, this this area was uh, pretty cool when I got to this. Uh, after starting the game, just like you have, I was like, oh, wow, okay. We're, we're doing this kind of stuff. Wow. And, yeah, I was uh, pretty impressed. So I don't think this... It. I don't think this lever actually affects anything other than the water, right? So... Yeah, we can turn the water on or off. So I'm guessing I'm looking for somewhere that has placement for a gargoyle head. We're looking for like a. Let me structure that a little bit better. Um, I guess we're looking for a broken gargoyle to place the head, perhaps. Unless, of course, there is something. That shape looks pretty unique, so. No, ah, is, is it there? I think it's there. I see you. I guess we're uh, only one way to go. Well, 
thought that was like somebody stood there then for a minute. It's a little bit freaky. Friend or foe? I'm guessing the latter. Stream suffering? Uh, I think we're alright. I think I just had a little bit of blip. Apologies if there was like a little bit of a. Had a little bit of a moment there. I do apologise. Right, there's nothing to interact with here. I guess we could go straight into here. Go on, Atom. How you doing? Is it still buffering? I think it is. Ah, Miseri Giacomo. Alive and well. Your presence here is proof that my gift was delivered successfully, and that you knew how to use it in the best possible way. You did not disappoint me. Which is, as you will soon see, a good thing for you. I'm sure you're asking yourself the obvious question of why the mysterious man before you has even helped you to your freedom. Yeah, there was a, a little or, little bit of buffering here and there for me, but yeah, my overall it's okay. Blood. So, uh, up, I'm just yep. going to pause that minute because um, yeah, yeah, there's some lagging, like we're just stopping, pausing, and then starting again. And I'm not um, hearing the dialogue because otherwise I'll get feedback. So. I'm just um, seeing the, the, the video, which is kind of, for whatever reason, lagging every now and then for me. Yeah, I'm dropping frames, or I was dropping frames since I've put... Uh, yeah, here we go again. It's getting spikes, and I don't know why. Maybe because uh, you're not using the desktop app. Through <laughs> <laughs> the desktop app. Sorry, I was off there. Um, so, just it's only just like started. Maybe after you refresh. I've dropped like I've dropped five about five percent of my frames, so keep getting the um my OBS keeps flashing red every now and then. Yeah, you were like uh, smooth as smooth as silk, uh, starting off. But maybe just uh, refresh, uh, uh, either Twitch or OBS or both. Uh, of course, we'll just see uh, a pause, no more than. Normal. I don't know. I my pulse. All right. Do it to it. The fanatics accused you of. If they had their way, we would all be flung several centuries into the past. However, I do believe in the power of knowledge. I like to support able and well-educated people. You, of course, counted among them, Giacomo. I know your work and your skills, and I can find a good use for them. But I am, as you are surely beginning to understand, an extremely powerful man. As easily as I was able to get you out of that prison, I can put you back with just a wave of the hand and leave you there to rot. It's your choice. You could, but surely you need me to help you, and that's why you broke me out of prison in the first place, so, you know, just saying. This is my offer. You may choose to return to your foul-smelling cell in Castello Estense, which would, of course, be unexpected or decide to enter my service instead in which case you could finally make full use of your exceptional skills do you not normally play your games to the end atom but let us return to my principal issue as i stated i am currently supporting a number of artists and inventors all of whom work for me with gratitude but 
One of the greatest minds of our time still eludes me. I am certain you already know of him. Messer Leonardo da Vinci. I will just say, like, I'm finding, like, the camera, like, direct, the like, direction here, like, a bit weird. Like, one minute it's like you're stood in front of him, and the next minute you're inside the room. It's, I don't know, he I'm is a little bit weird. staying in Milan, seeking assistance for his scientific work. Every candidate for this post must first complete a complex test to show that he can be beneficial to the master's research. No one has proven successful so far, but you, Giacomo, could be the right one. It will be in your own best interests, if you understand my meaning. You will complete Leonardo's test, enter his services, and while keeping up appearances, you will secretly inform me of his every move. You will also ensure that in the end, the only employer of Leonardo da Vinci will be me, Cesare Borgia. Take this notebook. You will secretly record every detail of your investigation in it. You will report to me and keep me informed. Interesting. Zoom in, double click, right click to zoom out. Hold down the left mouse button to drag and turn the pages. Click the back button to close the notebook. You can still use a right click. You will find Master Leonardo in the church of Santa Maria della Grazia, where he addresses himself to some grandiose painting. One of my reliable people will take you to Milan. You should be on your way. And Giacomo, do not fail me. Alrighty then. So we're going to be sent in to spy thing. on Leonardo. As a soldier, I am accustomed to almost any hardship. But Messere Leonardo is, after all, a man of considerable delicacy and refinement. Before you meet him, you should not forgo a thorough bath and change of clothing. Just trying to say, I smell. All right, that should be like the end of the hand holding then, I guess. Also known as a tutorial. So now it's on to Milan. Go and find Leonardo himself. Hopefully. Addressing a painting. I wonder what painting he's going to be addressing. To tell the truth, I did not expect another to take on my challenge, but I'm pleased to see that in the end another brave soul decided to try. Well, I was told that your name is Giacomo, so I bid you welcome. You just entered the labyrinth, and your task is simple. You need to find your way to the other side. I, of course, put a few little obstacles in your path. But if you will be careful and diligent in your search, Giacomo, I'm sure you will prevail. That is all I will say for now. Well, I suppose I should wish you, like I wished all those before you, good luck, and more importantly, an open mind. If you prove to me that you are worthy to be my apprentice, I will meet you again on the other side of the labyrinth. Alrighty then. So, we've got to make our way through the labyrinth then. And, and only then will we uh, be able to be Leonardo's apprentice. I had an unpleasant encounter with the Duke played again and again during the whole journey to Milan until I finally arrived at the destination, the convent of Santa Maria del Gracia. I was surprised that the trial, the trail is to take the trial is to take place in the Covent's Garden, covered by the freshly fallen snow. I should have expected something like this. After all, it is said that Leonardo loved surprises. I was welcomed by the master himself, but I must confess my disappointment. I could not see him properly, as he was talking from a balcony and seemed in a bad mood. Never mind, I need to concentrate on the trial. I cannot fail. Oh, I can. But I would do well not to fail. Let's be honest. 
Uh, the company recently underwent a reconstruction to with which I assisted greatly using several of my inventions. Thanks to this, the prior allowed me to use this beautiful garden as a venue for my trial. It consists of a number of items, tools, and supplies borrowed from the Covenant store, borrowed, sorry, from the Covenant stores and inventories. For each different task, I repurpose them into me mechanisms and brain teasers. I want to make sure that you are observant, able to perceive the very essence of things, and know that know how to think logically. Get to the other side of the labyrinth, and I will gladly accept you into my services. So if there's a way to take these hooks off straight away this table looks a little bit sus there's also something that fits into the middle there let's have a look here move the cushion and hey wouldn't you know it there's a prayer nut like it could be opened and we got in here It's like we found our star-shaped crank, which will fit into the middle of the table. Okay. It's interesting. All right, we just need to keep turning. I was like, where, how do I work out like which position this needs to be in? We now have like a monstrously sized pine cone. Lack of a better term. Yeah, pine cone was the same thing I thought. <laughs> okay. What have we got here? So we've got some symbols here. Looks like we need to get the right symbol. So gold, two gold, and a silver. We can like rotate. Okay, we can change these maybe. Hold on. So where does the... Where's the back? Okay. okay, so this, Look at um, everything. this needs to go here because <laughs> we have, some of them have four items, some of them only have three, like this one has four, so we'll move that across, and that one's going to sit there. This one will go here. And, okay, so we are missing an item, it seems. An item. Um... Have I overlooked something? More than likely. Oh, that's not a square, though. That's not a square. Hmm. Did that indicate that? A square and that overlaid with each other? You never Quite know. possibly. Never know. There we go. Seven companion cubes in this labyrinth. I wait to find them all. Okay, uh, what have we got this time? To look. Those are dingleberries. Okay, I'm thinking straight away we've got to line them up with the item in the background. So, also thinking. We can rotate. That wouldn't make sense. So, can it rotate this way? It can. Fantastic. There we go. So that's there. That's there. That's there. Seems that the spheres on the abacus are arranged in a certain way. I will make a sketch of them. Notebook. I bet, I bet you smashed that puzzle out of the park, didn't you, Deathwish? Because, you know, let's face it, we all know you love an abacus. Yeah, I, I didn't get that. Because, <laughs> uh, 
kind of like broke up midway through the sentence. All right, so we need more stuff for the mechanism. That's fine. I think maybe for now we are done with this area. Yes. You seem like you're peeking or something. <laughs> Mika, no, it, you, you cheat, Mika. You cheat. Just because you're in the future uh, ahead of everybody else, you get to do Wordle first. I'm not being funny. I found today's Wordle quite yikes, so... Oh. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I have to say, uh, I was just kind of like, okay, I did my normal... Uh, everybody knows, well, you know, I do a rise or a raise, either one, same thing, and got no letters. I'm like, ah, oh, it's going to be one of these. So then I went to my, since I got no letters, I was able to do my second go-to word like I would if I wasn't on hard mode. And then I got two letters. And then my stupid ass had a word that was going to use those two letters in a different spot to see like where if they would turn green or not and I typed in a word that was where the two letters already were plus another one and and just had yeah, three yellows. I'm like, okay. So, what can I do from here? Luckily, so far, just like the last couple, uh, I, I had, uh, they were in the correct order, just in the wrong spot. And I was like, I don't, I don't know where they belong but screw it I'll just try this and when they when they were flipping over and turning all green I'm like oh yes <laughs> you know uh, did not expect it uh, same same with the other one uh, even though that was for man I've been getting screwed uh, compared to I, I want to get a three I mean, my my goal is to get a three guess every day, and I haven't been getting it. I've been getting fours and fives, and uh, yeah. Oh, I remember this puzzle, or not this puzzle, but this part. This is not for that. That's going to be for the. It's going to be for the other area. Which is this, I believe. The one thing I miss, not to be a drag, but I I miss telling Bailey to come here and shut up. <laughs> oh, here you go. Uh, it's, it's, it's all good. Uh, hold on. Uh, five, eight. Difference in that is three. Difference in that is two. One, two, three, uh, four. No. But one, two, three, five. Hold on. Let's think. Um, One, two, three, that's three, five. And, that's three and six. Three, five, six, eight. Three, six, three, and that is one. It's one, one two, three, five. There. Three, five, six, eight. Eight. There is three. 
Difference there would be two. Man, that's more than five. It's three. Get in there. What have we got here? I think that's related, is it? Brown chicken, brown cow. Yo, Raggy! The host. 31, thank you very much, dude. How are you doing? Welcome to everybody from the Rag Nation. How are you all doing? Hope you're all well. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate uh, it. Haven't heard of Raggy. Or, but yeah. Uh... Raggy is oh. an awesome guy who um, is a uh, sim racer. And um, has his own little community over on his channel, the Rag Nation. And uh, yeah, awesome. all, around, all around top guy. Awesome, dude. Uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, he also brought a, brought a little <laughs> gang with him. Two. Eight now to five. Back. Now you're back to maths. <sighs> yeah, maths as opposed to math, you know. Yeah, it sounds everybody weird, knows. Got, I've, everybody I've knows got, maths is greater than math. <laughs> well, I've gotten used to the term maths, so yeah, I, I'm 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 not good with other cultures, and other, other cultures, uh, other stuff. You know, I don't, I don't crap on people that have different sayings. I mean, because it's it's no different than. Us, we got we got a bunch of garbage. We say that make doesn't even make sense to me. <laughs> I know what they mean, but it's like that's stupid. <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right, I need to understand this puzzle because, um... well, that's the that's the whole concept of the game. There was something puzzles. <laughs> uh, okay. Peel that piece of tape off. And take that note out. Okay. Why would I, Why would I want to do that? And don't tell me things like that. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> You're a meanie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's there's nothing there that can help me with that. So, guess it travel. is just travel come in time down to math. You know, I'm going to adopt American culture for a moment. We'll call it math. Okay, doesn't matter to me. I'll call I'll call that uh, puzzle you're working on. Most of it's built with uh, aluminium. <laughs> Aluminum. Yeah, that's I swear I I'd love a aluminium much better. It sounds like an actual element. As opposed to aluminum, which so many people have a hard time saying for whatever reason, but aluminum. No, uh aluminium. That sounds cool. I know I've said that before, but, but anyway. Oh, so difference three. Five nuts. Well, this this is this is this is kindergarten. This is elementary math, Doctor Watson. One, two, three, four, five. Two, uh, I was trying to count. One, six, nine, five. That's right, isn't it? So that's how you count. Hey, hey guys, he's trying to count. I'm just trying to like work out. It's like the. Rhetorical question, of course. Um, are the um, the lines in between her like connected, um, or do they mean something? Is the five yeah, pointing mean, uh, to five one? Yeah, uh, before it saying, was uh, uh, it was a Brit that in that and well not invented but. Uh, came across 
aluminium. He named it aluminium, and the, uh, the when it was written up in research, uh, aluminium was the original name. And then when it went into a uh, report or a scientific paper, uh, it left out the I, so it made it aluminum. And that's how it got its change from with the, the person who got it originally called it. And yeah. So aluminium from Brits, and, and me personally, I prefer that as opposed to aluminum, which is what we say every year. So, and I don't know what the rest of the world says, like in China or Greece or Italy or Japan or South Korea. I don't know what anybody else says, but. And neither do I, but to be fair, I don't speak the language, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I've never, <laughs> I, I've never heard it uh, pronounced any other way. It, like, in another language, like how they pronounce it in their language. Uh, is it, do they, well, they can't pronounce it aluminium or aluminum. Due to the fact that it's not the same word, but how does aluminum. it translate? Does it translate into aluminum or aluminium? Which one? Uh, uh, al alumini. That's how I would say it. Al alumini. And then typically, uh, most languages. Uh, if you're speaking your own language, you would say whatever it is and the other language as, as far as the person's name, a play, like a, a proper noun, a uh, person, place, thing, uh, you would say it in their language, kind of like how, like, uh, other Star, people would square would, triangle cube would say things in uh, their language, and then well, I'm talking about the Statue of Liberty. Well, they would say Statue of Liberty in English. I don't know. Square triangle. What, how did I get that so wrong? I don't you don't know your shapes. Did you not have that red, uh, yellow, blue, green box with the, the colored shapes that you shove in the in the thing when you were a little kid for the right, for the right shape? <laughs> okay, that's open. I don't think we can do anything else there at the moment. Does that change anything? In the present, I wonder. Well, what I wish it changed was that they had a Da Vinci VR. Have you fin have you finished uh, Da Vinci? I mean, uh, the no, I haven't, been, I haven't. I haven't been back to it, to be honest. Oh my god, dude! It, it doesn't take that long. I know it doesn't take that long, but I don't, to be fair, I don't like pick up the VR too often, so. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't either, to be honest. Um, but then I, my daughter, uh, I more, I more got up for her. And I wanted to check it out myself, but then, and I did. And then I'm, and then I didn't really touch it for months. But then she started playing that, and I'm like, uh-uh, you ain't finishing that bitch before me. <laughs> Bit of friendly competition. And, and, I, and I got I got right back into it, and I'm glad I did. And, and I have to say, I mean, we, for some reason, I hesitate to get into playing the VR games, but 
I love them when I do, especially uh, like the room. I mean, it's immersive, it's fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's just me, though. So we've opened this up. Um, that's tied to there. Nothing on the top, so I can't do anything with the top at the moment. Still something like that needs adding to this. Or is there like a switch that I've missed on this device? Which I can like open this up. Oh, sounds almost like phon phonetic, phonetical, Mika. I was say for uh, Mika, the, to me, that's, uh, do you, did they teach y'all uh, long and short? It's like long and short vowels, like you, would be, as in that, uh, usher. And then, like, say, U-S-E-R, user, like, uh, ooh. And then, usher is, uh, A is, ah, uh, or, yeah, I uh, like, especially the vowels can be, those are the ones that really change things. Okay, say, okay, say, you did get, yeah, yeah, now we're taught. Long and short vowels. Uh, that's where a lot of people uh, we went to a restaurant for my daughter's birthday this past Saturday. And uh, on the front page of their website, I put it up when I when we went there, and it said, uh, it, "Well, it was supposed to say uh, something of a uh, blah blah blah." Like des desserts made by a Apache or something, whatever. Okay. But uh, I held my phone up to the waitress and she, I said, What does that say? And she goes, You know, blah, blah, blah desserts made by a, 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 a Pocky or a po I forget what it's, what her, who their name was anyway i said read it read it again and they were like oh uh desserts was uh, desserts is d-e-s-s-e-r-t-s -S -E oh, i'm so dumb and, and they had it as d-e-s-e-r-t -E like deserts like sand <laughs> there you go you got it my man no, nah, you're not dumb. It, it, it's all about how you how you're thinking about something, dude. If you're dumb, I'm a complete, absolute, em, embryonic moron. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling you, man, you're you're a smarter man than I am. Seriously. Uh, I don't agree with that. Seriously, uh-uh, not at all, uh-uh. Uh, I, when I see you do stuff, uh, uh, it's like, wow, he got that like he already knew the answer. And then, and there's times so I look back at, like, videos I did or something and go, like, damn, uh, I got that quicker than, uh, I'm not even getting it now. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Shit, I, I, I guess it just depends on when you play it and what frame of mind. And... I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. This, this, this is how this is how dumb I feel, right? I um, the video that went out today on my uh, channel. I played uh, um, it was an escape simulator level that went out on the channel today. And when I played it, 
I was like, this is absolute horse. Um, I, I sat there literally for like half an hour trying to work this stuff out. I couldn't see how he was meant to associate a picture to some toys, right? And I sat through in my lunch break day and I thought I need to get this edited. So I, I went through it all. I edited it. I uploaded it. Well, before I uploaded it, I watched it back. And it wasn't until that moment after I'd like sat and played it for like ages, I'd spent 45 minutes editing the video. And it wasn't until I was watching it back that I realized that one of the people in the picture was actually a woman. That's how stupid I feel. I spent like the best part of like probably two hours looking at this picture, trying to work out why I couldn't see the correlation between um, somebody called Mum and what I thought was two boy, uh, two boys, a man and a girl. When actually it was a man, a woman, a boy, and a girl. That's that. That's dumb. Trust me. Nope. Uh, I can tell oh, you. No uh, I've done the. I've done the exact same thing, if not worse. No, okay. that's not that's not dumb. That's just you're thinking. You're trying to think about things in a different way, and that's just how it happens. Okay. Uh, yeah. Have fun with this one. Uh, you know, you know what this is. <laughs> Is it just... uh, if I recall, I got this one on first try because I I thought about it. Because these, you, these to me, you you, you kind of have to think about it before you even do anything. Yeah. Well, you, I, I, you kind of. Okay, can't even. So I think I just need to. I don't even think I need to cover each of the nodes if I if I'm understanding this correctly. Um. Yeah, I like, see, that's the thing about some of these puzzles. Sorry to, sorry to interrupt, but, like, some of them, you have, to, you have to cross every line. But you can't cross each of the dots or nodes, like you say, more than once. And then some of them, uh, you just have to hit each node, and that's it. So, yeah. Uh, Okay, go ahead. That's, Sorry. That's not it. All right, so go there. I, I I just wonder if I actually need to like hit the pictures, but I guess no, I need to hit every node. Um because thinking about like the starting point, there would be no way to cover this line off without going back to where I'd already been previously. So let's um let's crack on. Crack on, cracker. Down, down, down. Yeah, okay, we got this now. Easy. Easy now. Easy, easy. Hold on. Hold on, Bronco. You slay that dragon. You slay him good. Bam! Right. We got, got it. The device. And. Yes! Okay, this. I'm a cheerleader. Is reminiscent of this, maybe. Also, they got numbers on them. Interesting. Oh, great. That's one of these. I love these. Certain ones affect certain others. Yada, yada, yada. Yep. It's the same puzzle. It's, 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 it's the same wine and two different bottles. Boom. That's the one thing I don't like about them is that a lot of them are easy to cheese, kind of like uh, Mika said. 
Okay, so this here, this relates to... Um, get, a get a chainsaw out, cut okay. that motherfucker up. I need to work out what's what. So, we've got um, Ram. That's Ares, obviously. Good star sign, that is. Um, Ram, followed by the Leo, I guess. Ram, Leo, uh, Libra. Is Libra the scales? Maybe, possibly. That's a Ram. Uh, beep boop. We, there we go. Ram, Leo. Could be that one. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that one. That one, that one, that one. And then we've got the twins and then Pisces, I think that is. I'm, oh, no. I'm, Pi I'm Pisces. That's February, which is fish. Uh, no, Sagittarius first. Sagittarius, then the twins, then Pisces. Sagittarius. Twins. Pisces. Um, we don't even need to worry about the last one. Killing it. All right. So and that, that that last one was Pisces. Yeah, but there was another one though. There was another one that we didn't use. Which oh, sorry, well, it was there. Wasn't no, it? the two the two fish. Looking, yeah. No. And no, I know that was Pisces. I was thought I thought there was one there, but no, that's we don't need to use that. That's fine. Ignore me. Okay, so uh, that's retracted back into there. So, let me use this contraption, I wonder. I wonder, if, I actually think what we probably want to do first is we head back into the past. Uh, if I can know where my mouse is, there it is. And um, I'm pretty sure if we place this contraption on the gate here, Okay, now we need to make the patterns on here. So the first, so if we can do this, the left-hand side is a white and a dark. Okay. So they're not interchangeable. Can do this, so. I'm thinking. You're thinking. I'm always thinking. Uh oh. That's that's half my trouble. I'm yeah, me thinking. too. That's my problem. That's what gets me into trouble. <laughs> this is an interesting pattern here. The um, dark half and full. So, that to me seems like it's going to be this cog here. And... Not sure how that's going to sit exactly. To me, that would need to be a little bit higher. But let's just... Oh, wait a second. Okay, put your guesses in, people. Oh, no, they're all on separate. Um... Yeah. Okay, they're, they're, they're all on separate things, which is fine. You got this. That's going to go there. I'm not sure how we're going to line these up. That one's...
one's... I don't think that one is there, actually. It could be a combination of, like, these ones. Damn, my computer is completely gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Just want to make sure. Three, five, seven, eleven. Okay, so it's definitely that. Now, Mika's got a pretty good guess. I'll interject with that. I need to check my notes. Two seconds. Yeah. All right, so where are we? Uh, let's go back to there. I've pulled up a, I've just got a little uh, screen grab of the solution here. So at the top, we've got... So this, this should be pretty straightforward because I'm pretty sure the big one, big areas are where we need to fit in. Okay, that one's gonna go here. Boing, I heard that. Uh, uh, I got my S22 Ultra today. I transferred all my files over. And uh, let's see. Oh my god, it's the Galaxy S22 Ultra is so badass. Just saying. There's no way to uh, like no. There's no way to like interchange these onto different things, is there? No. So from what from what I'm seeing here, that has to sit there, which is correct. Oh, sorry. I've, yeah, I've totally looked at that wrong. Nope, I'm right. Yeah, dude. Uh, there we go. I mean, even my Note 20, but this one, it's yeah, it's got a specific graphics driver for games. I'm just investigating. I'm just, like, actually, like, <laughs> brushing up on some stuff. Sorry, I'm not ignoring you, Deathwish. I'm just, like, brushing no, up no, on no, some no, stuff. No, no. <laughs> Mika. Um, more than anything. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and post the answer. Solutione. And knock. Knock was the closest as as typical. <laughs> uh, Still just, not quite close enough, though. Nah, just not close enough, but a darn good. Uh, a for effort on that one. Here's the answer. Quick, get a pen of paper. 83,000. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Well, um, I, we're not going to play this game again for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, knock. We'll get this shit. Time in the next week or so. <laughs> I was weird. He wouldn't let me like go through there for some reason. Okay, what have we got here? The green eye. Okay. Ah, uh, sure. Oh man, I I. I, I just took video and pictures in almost complete darkness, and it looks incredible. Yeah, if anybody, if, if you can get a, a S22 Ultra, uh, especially if you're looking for camera work, not, not 
the tick away from the IR and the other the other sensors and everything else. It's freaking amazing. Just saying. Uh, I could almost use this as uh, based, based on my uh, desktop other than the three monitors. Uh, I could use this as a desktop replacement. <laughs> All right, we'll pop that into there. Oh, um, I remember this. We're going to do that. Uh, Move the yellow back over you. to here. Yeah, that's the easy one for Put you. The green. Bring the yellow out. Okay, I just, I just did one <clears throat> that was mobile only. And it was a pin. It was the same type of puzzle exactly, but it was a, a, a no. It was the exact same puzzle, but it was the absolute pain in the ass. Peacock huh. is too far inside the cage. Then, can it move, please? Ancient music theory. Hmm. I have not studied music theory at all. Uh, just uh, a, a bit about music, but I mean, ancient I've always, music theory. I've always been like musical, um, but I just feel like uh, I know you got you got tinkle toes. I just kind of want to do and learn a bit more. I've never been a player of things. I got, I've got a drum kit, and I do play some drums. And, uh, my, but I've never really delved into learning music theory or any of that, which I should. Thing is, so, I'm, I'm kind of like at a time in my life where I feel like I've had so many interests and. As a younger self, I'd never really put the time into things. But now as like an older person, I kind of feel like um, I just look at things and I kind of like get things. Not like, yeah, I, I kind of like get things a lot easier and a lot quicker than I did when I was like a young, my younger self. If that makes sense. No, no, I totally get you. I, I, I do the exact same thing myself. And I think it's because you actually, kind of like when you're younger, you get stuff so quick, it absorbs into your brain. Uh, and when you get older, there's certain things you, you just don't. Uh, but it's because you're not as interested in it uh, as you, uh, you know, uh, like when you're older, you're more interested in learning about it. So you tend to, at least for me, you tend to delve into it and 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 pick it up faster uh, than when when you were a kid. Uh, I, I hate English. I hate history. I hate government. You know, screw all that. And then you get older, and it's like. Okay, now this stuff is important. So you, you get more involved in it. And, but yeah. No, I, I think that's what you're saying. Uh, I just, I don't know. It's just like some, some topics that like I've, I've like delved into stuff before. And I just kind of like genuinely feel like I... Why did I not like pick and pick it up and understand it when I looked at it in like earlier life? Because it's so simple. Some of the stuff that I have been not I'm not, not just talking about like the music stuff, but yeah, in general, like everything's just like seems so. Well, you've so learned simple. more. You, you've learned more throughout life, and. Even though you, if you were put in a class specifically for that, whatever you were talking about, you would have gotten it, no problem. But, but 
as you've gotten older, you've learned stuff throughout the years that that led into helping you understand uh, that kind of stuff, uh, whatever it is. And, uh, that that's how it is i mean i like i i definitely understand stuff that i couldn't even fathom understanding back then so cool. let's circle that I remember this like it was yesterday. Yeah, so we, we obviously we did the first thing, which opened uh, that lock, but then to get out of here, we obviously needed to apply the codes that were on this little bench here. So that was a neat little puzzle. Yeah, that's... Um, so... Uh, I swear I was like watching myself play it. Okay, I was like, head yeah. This way... Hey, what's that little green thing at the bottom of the chat menu that gives me more points, huh? Should I click on it? Should I not? Because if I click on it, it'll give me a certain Men amount of points. Knock Men will know that. Mental if I note. don't click on it, it won't give me those points, and Knock won't know that. Mental note made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm playing games with the uh, extra points. Okay, the hook is out of reach. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Now this really feels like I just played this yesterday. Yep. I was probably spent like way longer than you'll spend on it. I think I spent like 15 minutes on this. At least. Uh, I felt like such an idiot when I... Okay, so we can turn this. One thing is preventing the crane from moving. So, okay, this is attached to this. So we need to... Disconnect this somehow. Then we can move this crane and do something else with this. It's fine. Um, I don't think there's anything else to interact with here. Yeah, I definitely can't say anything. Stonebrook. Okay, so we need to grab this. This is this is going to be our end game. We're going to grab this with this crane here. Yeah, Mika. That's what we are going to do. Yeah, I'd love to hear uh, what you have to say on Discord. All right. I'm going to come back to this, and the simple fact for that is I'm not sort of, um, I'm not ignoring the fact there is a puzzle there, but I do know, now that I have this peacock tail, I can do this. You can flap it up and down. And then, now that I've done that, I can turn this crank here, bring the plant over here, and I can return to the present... Well, lo and behold, our plant should now be moved and not attached by the plant. God Which damn now, it, Gump. You're a goddamn genius. Look here. We have a wheel with a handle. Now, I don't know where that fits, but I'm hoping... Oh, I don't want that screen snip. I'm hoping... Yes, that goes on here. Finally. Now, we can rotate this, and we have a mechanism with a handle. Cool. All right, so that's done with, that's done with. I think that's done with. So let's head back now into the past. And head into here. Have a check up here on the scaffold in something we didn't check before. Oh, look at that. There is a handle. It's conveniently placed. Uh, 
Okay, so can't climb it when it's in that orientation. That's fine. Now we can winch this. Clever. Very clever. Okay, the handle yep. comes off there as well. So I'm assuming we get to use that again. That's what you get for a shaming. <laughs> okay, but now how do we get rid of this? Yeah, you're, you're going through this faster than I did. I, I was just completely discombobulated and like everything in it. So yeah, you're, you're killing it. For now. Yeah, there's... don't think I have the right tool to open that at the moment. So... Uh, maybe we're done with that. Yeah, I, I missed the, the, the most obvious of things there. I have to I've changed that. that. Can I? Okay, I can't. I can't turn that either. That's fine. So we can ignore doing anything with that momentarily. And yeah, right. Mika, you got that. You know you do. I'll be the first to congratulate you on uh, graduation. When when's the party? Probably, you know, are we all invited to the graduation party? Yeah, no. Bring bring the party to America, baby. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll I'll pay for everybody is everything, and everybody you will be your minds will be blown. So what you're saying is we'll walk, we'll walk in and there'll just be like a massive um, there'll, there'll just be a massive keg of Miller. There'll be some of that fire jack stuff. Fire uh, jack. <laughs> firecracker, whatever you call it stuff. <laughs> Fireball. That's the nah. one. Nah. It'll be at a particular hotel ballroom with the open bar where you can pick anything you want and uh, whether you want mixed drinks or beer or whatever uh, you'll cover DJ kicking it and if you, and, and I will have an open uh, slot for you not to fill in as DJ <laughs> so you can plug in your laptop and do what you want and yeah you have a killer night i guarantee you <laughs> uh it's just 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 one problem with that i don't actually own a laptop <laughs> uh well you can uh can you buy me a laptop <laughs> well, you, you could just uh uh there's a lot of ways around that actually i mean you got you got your equipment, which that's pretty small. You can fit that in the bag, and then uh, the computer will be provided. All you gotta do is just plug it up to the computer and rock it out. Okay, I need to just focus here a minute because. I've got these two things, but I don't know where to use them. Oh, let me tell you. Up your ass and to the left. To the left? Really? It's always to the left. Um, <laughs> I'm more of a to the right guy. Oh. Uh, gotcha. Uh, I'll let your wife know the next time uh, I do it to the left. <laughs> he says she likes it to the left 
<laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, I, like whole day today, I've had like this real like freaking <sighs> top of my back has felt so freaking tight all day. Really doing my head in. I can, uh, I can empathize with that. Oh, for God's sake, stop clicking out the game. Okay, you need to stand up with your stand up desk. I would, however, however, you don't, you don't have, uh, Twitch telling you to. I feel like I'm missing something with this crane, but there's nowhere that I can actually interact with it. Yeah, make it. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Locke, this is, uh, I recall this part myself, so uh, now I don't feel so stupid. I was doing this crap, but you're, you're still way ahead of me. Uh, I was way over thinking stuff and doing things and stuffing things and pushing buttons, walking around and. <laughs> nah, you, you got it. You got it. We can slacken the rope, find the rope. Something is blocking the crane from moving. That is quite a possibility. But I don't believe I need to... I don't believe I need to worry about the statue. I just need to... So I think I need to work out how to... How to get this rope. Or how to get this off the statue. That, that there is one of the keys to the puzzle, yes. This is, this is where I got hung up for a while. All right. There's something grippy. So. Oh, uh, snap. What? If I stood over here, can I go through the portal when I'm stood here? I can't. Hey, no, 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 no clipping. If it's a kit, right, so I'm just trying to think about this, like, sensibly. If it's a case that I need to free the... Free yep, the Every, everything is completely logical. There you go. Yeah, but are we talking, like... Logic, logic, or are we talking about like something like Artifacts Monday, where uh, I need to open a door, so I've got to um, break a nah. bit of glass, um, <laughs> wrap it in a wrap it in my t-shirt, to then use it as a screwdriver yeah, so on the hinges. Because you can't you can't touch it with your hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, uh, this is. Uh, it's this kind of game logic. It's logic. 
All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm wondering if there is something. So, okay, I think what's going to happen is once once this is in the correct position, or once we like get rid of that, we're then and turn it. We're then this is going to come off, and then we're going to be able to use the crank on here because this has got a square edge right there. So I can see that straight away. So the crank is going to be for there, I guess, to raise or lower the actual crane because this is what rotates the crane. So what can we use this for? Oh, interesting question. Now, I assume it's going to be something where we slot it in. And it's going to have like some holes or something that this is going to poke through to maybe hold it in position. Then we can turn the crank. That, though, still leaves a question of how do we disconnect the end of the crane? From the crane device or sorry, let me rephrase it. How do we this uh, we disattach this so that we can use it to turn it now logic to me would say possibly we need to cut it but i don't have and i've not seen anything that we could use to cut it with so uh, i'd say not sure. Your thought process is right where mine was. That's all I can tell you. Well, if it's right where you was and you made a meal of it, then I'm miles off, surely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that depends on what you do with it. Uh, I'm saying that what you're talking about is the same thing I thought about. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong or right. I'm not. I'm not backseating or anything. I'm just saying that that's what I thought too. And you've already done things and gotten to places that I didn't get to until later and felt really stupid about it. So you're, you're already ahead of me. So yeah. Take that uh, however you want. Okay. Can I like do do more stuff with this plant? I wonder. Let's just explore some weird and wonderful avenues. See if we can uh, come up with something different here. Okay, so doing that, the plant grows in a very weird and wonderful fashion. And we still can't move it with this crank here. Which is fair enough. Well, well, you can see why, though. Yeah, because it's grown around, it's grown around the, um, okay. the bits now and you pieces. Know. So. Now you know more. I think the only benefit for like moving the plant was to drop drop the wheel down from up the top. If that's what you want to think, that's fine. You can think whatever you want to think. I mean, everybody has got the right to their own thinking. <laughs> you can think whatever you want to think, but it don't mean you're right. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah, this is like I, I, I'm watching myself play this. Yep. I'm watching myself play this. Interesting. Yeah, you I don't remember exactly what I did, but the 
Because I feel like... Oh, I hold on. Myself. Hold on. I've just realized something. We haven't done anything with this yet. Okay. Yep. I knew I'd seen, like, somewhere where that could be used. Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's right. That, yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Okay, and there's yeah. the rock. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I did the same thing. This is all so, coming back to me now. There's also something sat on top of the rock, Paul Dwayne. And and you're going to start. Uh, if I recall, I started. Okay, boom. Uh, you'll get it and then start escalating from here. Okay, let me just, um, before I forget, take that. Put the dome handle. Alrighty. So, we look at this. this. Nice. Okay, so we need to... These need to fit together. We need a triangular shaped uh, crank of some description. Obviously that's square, so that's not going to fit it. And right here, we got the special key and the wings. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so that side doesn't move, which is interesting. Well, we things, are, things are happening. Key. Okay. Doesn't say that these are like connecting to stuff, so no, 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 not at all. all. Right, so we got another special key. I'm guessing this key is going to fit with this key somewhere. Maybe not together, but maybe we're going to use these in conjunction to make a special pattern somewhere. Quite possibly. I think you should already know that, but it's been. Quite a few steps back. Okay. If I recall correctly, uh, I could be wrong, but. So here we've got to replicate the pattern on the bottom, I assume. So that'll be that. That's what, that's what she said. That's. Probably find spot. There we go. Oh, okay. There's multiple. Ah, okay. There's multiple alignments for those ones. It's fine. There we go. We got it. Also got a special hidden switch there, but let's look at the page first. It seems that I will have a very capable assistant very soon. The mere fact that you are currently reading these lines is proof that you are more acute than a great many before you. Only several yes. final tasks lay before you. Go ahead. You are close to your goal. All right. Switch. You're killing it. There is the lion head. Uh, that triangle knocker. So, um, maybe I'll do this on here. Ah, uh, you know what you need. Slide, slide down. Yep. You know what you need to do. Uh -huh. There's a grooved rod. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, what have we got here then? This is interesting. I guess it's going to be... We've got an object here. 
which has okay. Yeah, we do is we're going to need to find something for these keys to fit in here. So for these groove rods here, actually, okay, no, nope, that's what we do. Groove rod in first. Uh huh. Then we can rotate that. Uh huh. That's going to go there. We rotate this one to there. Uh huh. And bingo, bingo. Bingo, bango. Bam. Sweet. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, uh, nothing special. It has nothing to do with the puzzle at all. No, I, I think that was just, you know... Like, Aha, we nice fooled you. Puzzle. Here you go. Here's a little present for you. Happy birthday. Hey, look at that. Brass letters that have sharp pieces on them. Jeez, maybe we could use that for something. Oh. Uh, interesting, I must say. Out of a gear assembly? Really? I don't see that as a gear assembly. I see that I could use that for something else. Just, you know, floating it out there, putting that idea on everybody's minds. I have no idea. I have to be honest. No idea at all. I okay. have to figure that out. It's so we've done that. We've done that. Let's head back. Looking for a summer job, Mika? Yeah, I got a job for you. Okay. Let's use this instead. Swing. Um, All right. Now we can rotate this. No, you can't. You cannot okay. possibly do that. You're cheating if you do. And like I thought, the crank would drop down, so we can now lower this. You're, you're cheating so bad. Yep, I never did. I never did any of this. I don't, I don't recall any of this. You're, you're cheating. And now we need to close this up. Hey, look at that. It's like magic. Now, what kind, of, what, what kind of garbage is that? Ah, you're a cheater. I was just about to say, I get the impression that that's just going to like drop through, but I guess not. I guess that's the end of the, uh, okay, yep, I guess that's everything that we've done in the past, that's fine. So, now we can do this. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? And of course, I the final I, piece of the I, puzzle I, is going to be to use this gear, I guess. Walking around, pushing buttons, you're cheating. No, I think I'm cheating because I'm not walking around pushing buttons. No, you're just cheating. This is, there's no way that you're doing this. In there, put the gear in here. All that up there. Magically open the gate. <laughs> Boom! There we go. Cheater. Oh, look what he look what he's Another painting. Another interruption. I told you, click. The last popper. Oh, is that you? I'm sorry. Wonder, Betsy. When I'm immersed in my work, I tend to forget the world around me. I thought that they sent me another letter from the abbot in which he will ask me for yet well. another time 
When will the mural be ready? As if he had no idea that his constant questioning will not speed up the process at all. Huh. Very interesting. I must confess, I am surprised. You see, many before you who failed my challenge assured me that it was impossible. Therefore, the Last Supper I was just a that you made big a gay great orgy. Impression on me. In any case, I am glad that it will be you who will enter my services. There is much work before us, and I believe that in you I am gaining a very capable ally. Let us tarry no longer. And if only you knew, Leonardo. <laughs> What do you say, Jacoma? Training day. Human unlocked. <laughs> good job, good job. Alrighty. I have to say, I guess that was about ish. The same amount of time it took me to get through it. Ish. Ish. Yeah, uh, you probably got through it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was about the same amount of time. You might, you probably got it through, through it quicker than I did on that area. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've kind of like found like with the, um, when I play like the escape room stuff as well, I kind of like go in, I kind of go in. And I just like some things you just like see straight away. It's like, right, boom, I see that, I gotta do that. I see this, I gotta do that. But then other times you're just kind of like left and you're kind of like really struggling to see what you need to do and where you need to go. So yeah. I, I suppose that that's like that's like human nature in a way that like everybody sees different things. And oh, yeah, everybody absolutely. gets things a lot quicker or a lot slower than like other people and no two people are the same uh, yeah um, i mean and that that speaks volumes for what you're saying for uh like uh portal or yeah or anything else i mean there there are some that kicked my ass a lot of people got them in two minutes and i spent a half hour on them like that's yeah, that's I, that's that's like every portal map i play <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like when I when I finally get it, I'm like, ah, oh, jeez, okay, awesome. And but I have to say, when it's like that, I, I appreciate it. Uh, and it's like, yeah, that, that's yeah, you know, that's awesome. And uh, good puzzle, you got me. Yeah. And then and then I play other puzzles that people have trouble with and spend days on and I saw it in you know five ten minutes and yep. it's like why, why don't you have that much problem it was pretty straightforward to me but only because uh, only because it, it was just uh it, it it just yeah I mean you know what I mean it, it, it just it just hits you that way and uh, you you're able to just fly through it and you just see it oh, without yeah. even thinking about it almost and, sure uh, sure but yeah. Uh, yeah anyway um it is really the end of the chapter. I'm going to wrap it up there because my back is really starting to actually kill me, which is um, isn't good. So um, yeah, we'll be okay, carrying Lynn. on with this. You need to tomorrow. stand up, bitch. We'll carry on with this tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> forewarning, though, the stream might be a little late starting tomorrow night because I am actually um, out with the family for a bit tomorrow night. Got a charity, uh -oh. got a charity uh -oh. bingo night at. Uh, kids oh, uh scout group so yeah yeah uh i will be streaming but it might be a little bit later than normal um but yeah thanks everybody uh, for tuning in death wish as always thank you for joining me it's always a blast to yeah uh thank you for having me uh, anytime dude anytime uh every, everybody in chat and you as well awesome everybody's so so cool 
show and uh, love it. And yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. I mean, uh, anytime, dude. I, I, I'm I, I'm just a dumbass in the background. <laughs> yeah, but you. <laughs> You're uh, you're just that regular feature now, dude. That uh, we enjoy having you on the stream. So yeah, thanks for hanging, dude. As much as uh, you know, you're thanking me for inviting me. I inviting you. Thank you very much for hanging with us, dude. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, well, thank you very much. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.